Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg, and today we're going to be having a look at the price of Brent crude oil. So in the last week, we've had a we've seen a meeting with OPEC, which is the oil watchdog and group of countries that are the largest producers of oil across the world, and they decided to decrease their supply for the next period. And this is largely because to respond to the recessionary fears and pressures that have been coming from the rest of the world. As inflation reared its ugly head, many central banks decided that a recession was the lesser of two evils with regards to hyperinflation and decided to increase interest rates. This led to lots of slowed growth and therefore um, the dropping of price in oil as investors in the market saw this slow growth impacting on the oil markets. The OPEC's decision to increase supply has shored up the price of oil in recent days, seeing it push back below $90. As we move over to the charts, the first thing that we can see on the weekly is that we are in this long-term kind of um, ranging pattern. We've got this range almost from $150 to approximately $30 a barrel. And in more recent times, as we zoom in to this period, since really COVID, we've been in this kind of upward trend and this peaked um, at about $130 a barrel. And that was when inflation um, really started to rear it. So uh, that's when inflation was at its peak. And also the Russian Ukraine crisis had, was also in its peak um, news cycle and was right in the frame of mind of everyone. Ever since then, as refresh, recessionary fears have taken over, we've seen this downward move on oil. Now, what has been shown is that we have reached this support zone and with the recent announcement from OPEC we've actually been able to bounce off the support. We can also see that the RSI has broken out of the downtrend very slightly. Um, with a day still to go um, we may see that kind of move a little bit um, more aggressively um, out of this kind of downward channel. The other thing is that, <clears throat> excuse me. We may be able to, you know, we are still in this downtrend, so this just may be a dead cat bounce before we fall back down, or we may see a coiling move back up. Um, but that is the state of play on the longer term chart. As we move towards the daily chart, we see a similar kind of we can see a similar kind of move where we've got this um, we've got this support acting strong and we're also seeing a test of the 50 period moving average so that's our short term resistance line so far we've been able to hold that but don't expect um, that to continue without a potential test back down the other thing is as we move closer to the 200 period moving average <clears throat> and we get that mean reversion there will probably be quite a quite a lot of resistance. So for the time being, we're still not sure if we're going to continue this, um, if we're going to continue moving towards the end of that that trend line and then back down, or if we're going to coil, contract, and then push back up. Now, trying to get a bit more of a grasp, we can see that the RSI. Um, we may also be breaking out of that uh, uh, that oversold region. And getting to our highest point really since the middle of the year. So pushing back above that $93 mark gives us our highest price in the last two or three months, which is really positive. Um, but with lots of news and economic data still to come, oil is definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, and it will largely be governed by inflationary and recessionary pressures. But there you go, guys. Um, oil be showing itself to bounce off support um, with a potential move back up or back down. Thanks for watching. Good luck trading.